Okay, so we're going to need a index.html page for our www root folder for our default website. So I'll go to start and I'll launch Notepad. All right, and then I've already got it pasted, so I'll just paste it in there. And there is a very lean web page, right? As lean as it gets. So then I'll hit File, Save As. And I'll save it to the desktop for right now. And I'm going to name it index.html. And I'll hit save. All right. And now I'll take this page and copy it. All right. And then I'll paste it where it needs to go. So where does it need to go? It needs to go in here. So I'll hit paste. All right. And there it is. So now. We've got the web page, an index.html page, in the right place. And so now from my laptop, which is basically a separate computer since this is a remote desktop connection to my server, right? I'm remoted into my server, but on from my laptop, I'm on the same network. I'll go in here and refresh this window, and we'll see if it brings up the new page. All right, so we'll go here and hit Enter, Refresh, and there it is. Okay, default website, hello, this is the default website. Okay, so that's pretty good, so that works. And that was pretty easy. All we had to do was set our default document um, and then put in the page that we needed. Now let's take a look at that. We'll notice something here, start, computer, C drive. Okay, everything for the IIS server is in this init pub folder. And in there, you'll see there's the www root folder, and that's where I put this index.html page. But I also want to point out, and I'm going to be using it soon, this FTP root folder. This FTP root folder is where we will be putting um, other websites that we want to create, and then creating FTP users who can FTP in their website and, and um, let's say, manage their websites. So we're going to say that this web server is going to have a bunch of websites. We're going to want to let people manage them themselves. So we're going to set up FTP, multiple web hosts. OK, so off camera, I went to make sure that my DNS for my laptop client is also set to my server. And my server is located over here at 41.190. And let's go check out DNS and we'll test something out here. So administrative tools, DNS. All right, so I've got DNS open, the DNS manager open now. And I want to point out something. Um, now, this is just, once again, this is in my lab. This is not, uh, this is just a lab scenario, a test scenario. So I named my um, my domain name for just for this private lab, I named it MountZion.com. Now, um, for MountZion.com, right, let's see if that resolves. So I'll go over here and I have my laptop, and instead of using the IP address, we'll type in MountZion.com. And you won't be able to do this at home because this is just working here in my lab. And you can see that it also resolves MountZion.com, so that's great, right? So the name site is working, so the default website works with the domain name of my server, right? Okay, so what if, okay, I've got my website, let's say MountZion.com or whatever your website is, right? And you want to host other web hosts, right? So what I'll do is I'll say I want to have another site. So what I'll do is I'll say sites, right? And I'm going to, um, and before I do this, I'm going to have to plan this out a little bit. Before I create a second website, I'm going to go into that FTP root folder. Okay, so I'll go up one folder. So I'm in the C drive, init pub, and then I'm going to go into FTP root and I'm going to make a folder in there with the name of my domain name, my main domain name. So I'll say new folder and I'll call it 
Mount Zion, right? Okay, so Mount Zion, there it is. And then inside of that, not the .com, just Mount Zion. And then in there, I'll say new folder, and I'll call this folder Dan. All right, so this is going to be a website for a user named Dan, let's say, right? So now, as you can see, there's the C drive, right? Init pub, FTP root, Mount Zion, and then Dan, right? So this is where I'm going to store my next website. So now, back to the server manager, right? I'll drag this down. I will right click on sites and I'll say add website and this site name is going to be Dan site so I type Dan here and then the physical path I'll click here and then I'll just navigate over to that folder so in init pub inside of FTP root inside of Mount Zion there's the Dan folder and I'll select that and click OK right and then the host name will be Dan dot mount Zion dot com. All right, and I'll click OK. All right, and now I have a second website for Dan dot mount Zion dot com. Right, right here. Okay, beautiful. So, so let's see if it works. So for this site, I'm going to select it. Right. Okay. I'm going to go to SSL settings. Notice that require SSL is off, so that's good, right? And what we're going to need to do is put a, a web page in the site. So I'll go back to my folder. We need a web page in here, right? And maybe I can just paste it in there. Paste. There it is. There's the HTML document from before. So what I'll do is I'll open that with Notepad. Notepad. file open notice I have to go to all files because it's not a text file there it is and I'll say hello this is Dan's website right to differentiate it and then I'll put I don't know, a line or something above it. So we know it's different. All right, file, save, close that. So now there it is, right? So now what I'll do is I'll go back to my DNS and in the Mount Zion DNS forward lookup zone, so I'm under forward lookup zone, I've got selected mountzion.com, here are all my records, and I'll make a record for it. So I'll say new host record Dan now it's dan.mountzion.com the IP address which is the IP address 192.168 this is private right now because if this was a public um, site a public web server I'd be putting in my public IP address here right not this private one on this um, servers IP address I'd be putting my public IP address that would be on my firewall okay and I'll click add host alright and so now we've got an A record for Dan alright so now if I bring up my laptops Internet Explorer browser we can type that in we'll say Dan dot mount Zion dot com and see if it resolves alright and there it is hello this is Dan's website right so now we're hosting multiple websites we've got dan.mountzion.com and we've got mountzion.com right and so now we've got IIS server hosting separate websites and so that's pretty nice right and we have all the configuration tools with which we can use to work with it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set up FTP 
and secure FTP or FTPS actually um, so that we can FTP to our different websites so we can change them um, so we can change them from home or from a client.